This is a simple atom. It contains one negatively charged electron orbiting a positively charged nucleus. In the nucleus, there is one neutron and one positively charged proton. Inside the neutron and the proton, there are subatomic particles called quarks. There are two up quarks and one down quark stuck together with gluons like gluons. These quarks combine to make composite particles known as hadrons. The two most stable hadrons are protons and neutrons. But there are others who only exist for a short amount of time. Quarks have an electrical charge, a colour charge and spin. These means that they can only exist inside another particle. This is why quarks have never been studied by themselves. Quarks can join together in two different ways, mesons and baryons. In a meson, there is one quark and one antiquark, while in a baryon, there are three quarks. But most of these decay instantly. Along with leptons and bosons, quarks make up everything. Now let's go talk to scientist Sarah. In this modern age, we know more about the inside of an atom than generations hundreds of years ago could ever have imagined, but we are still researching. Currently running through France and Switzerland is the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider, a 27 km particle accelerator that was built to collide, well, hadrons. One thing that scientists are hoping to find is the elusive Higgs boson. Though, in reality, if it does exist, it is more likely to be a Higgs field. Because this field will be everywhere, it makes it very difficult to single any part of it out. Hence, why, in order to find its existence, it would have to appear as a boson. If the Higgs field doesn't exist, then a lot of what we thought we knew about physics will have to be explained again, because, in effect, the Higgs field gives everything the conditions of mass due to its viscous effect on particles. This means that even in the nature of the particle is massless, it will appear to have mass in the presence of the Higgs field. And because a lot of the particles we've found so far do appear to have mass, we'll have to find something to explain why that is. There are six detectors at the LHC. Atlas, CMS, Alice, LHCB, Totem and LHCF. Atlas is a general detector. It looks for signs of new physics which comprises of the origin of mass and other dimensions. CMS is another general detector. It looks for the Higgs boson and clues about dark matter. Alice on the other hand is used to research a fluid form of substance called quark gluon plasma which existed shortly following the Big Bang. LHCB investigates what happened to the antimatter after the Big Bang as equal amounts of matter and antimatter created the Big Bang. And as we know, the Big Bang was a huge event that is thought to have happened billions of years ago, creating the universe.